Hi, I'm Francie White. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner here in Eugene, Oregon, and this is Sciatico 201. So this is what I had to do to get my own piriformis muscle to release my sciatic nerve. So um, if you have graduated from Sciatico 101, you should now be able to put your ankle on your opposite knee. So coming into that position, Just notice yourself. Try and let go of any tension you may have. And now what we want to do in this position is to start to bring this opposite knee towards your chest. And it's going to start pulling the piriformis on this side. So just start to notice what muscles here start to feel very stretchy and uncomfortable. Only bring the, the knee up as far as this is just starting to feel the stretch and then even come back a little bit. And in this position, first let go of the muscles in your belly, the muscles in your shoulders, in your neck, in your mouth. Anything that's starting to get tense that thinks it's going to help and isn't. And then start doing little circles with this opposite knee. And it's going to move this muscle here, but it's just going to do it really tiny and really small. You just do it in one direction and eventually you can change directions. Just do it really, really small, letting go of all of your muscles. And eventually the idea is this piriformis muscle will decide it's longer than it was before. So do that just for a little bit and rest. And what I recommend is that you do it on the other side too. Even if you don't have problems with this side, do it on that side because one side learns from the other. So bring your knee up and holding your knee from behind is probably the easiest way to do it. And you can hold the opposite knee too and bringing it up to that place where it just starts to stretch and then just do these little circles. And think in terms of letting go of your belly, letting go of your shoulders, your back, your chest. And just do these circles one direction for a little while and then do them in the other direction. Now I'm doing this a little bit fast, honestly. So don't do what I do, do what I say. So just doing these little circles and then let it all go and rest. Rest for just a few moments and then come back to your sciatica leg. And so here we are. Bring it up. It probably can go a little bit farther. And you can just do these little circles. Start letting go of muscle tension. Change directions. and then let that go. And you can just rest for a moment. Just feel how nice it is to let your, your weight just fall into the floor. And then when you're ready, come on up. And you can walk around and see, see if your piriformis, if the sciatic nerve starts to let go. And I hope it does. I've just had a terrible time with this for the last several months. and. Um, I actually also um, had a, a nerve pinch here in my uh, fibula, and so I'll do another video about how to release this one too. So yeah, I did a number on my leg. I had four pinch nerves all the way up and down my leg. So the sciatic was the first one I got to let go of, and that vastly decreased my pain so I could start to think again. And that's why I wanted to do this video, so I can help other people that may have the same problem where this piriformis has just tightened up. And the normal way that people try to deal with it is to try and stretch that muscle and force it. And it doesn't work. We need to just gently try and lengthen it just a little by little and make friends with our piriformis again, because it's kind of mad. 
So we've got to say, oh, it's okay, honey bun. You know, please let go. It'll be all right. I won't ever do it again. And then see if it'll let go of it. So I hope that this helps you. Be sure to subscribe to my um, YouTube video. My, excuse me. Be sure to subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. That was easy to say. We'll see you in the next video.